Well, uh, in today's um, uh, in today's uh, MLS is back uh, games, uh, the game I'm going to be talking about today is Atlanta United versus Sporting Kansas City. Atlanta United beat Sporting Kansas City three to one today at Mercedes Benz Stadium. A uh, great way to start the season. Um, the ones who scored for Atlanta United were Luis Araujo, uh, Dom Dwyer, and Caleb Wiley, and then Daniel Sal Saloi. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but um, yeah, uh, great for Atlanta United. Uh, great first game of the season. Um, uh, I'm hope I I I I I'm re I'm I'm glad the MLS uh, season has started again. You know, Atlanta United games are exciting to watch. I love going there and just watching Atlanta United play. That I love going to the Mercedes Benz Stadium to watch Atlanta United. It's awesome. It's honestly awesome. So three one. Um, very good. Very good. Um, I mean I don't know really what much to say. This is my first Atlanta United video since we played, uh, since we played New York City FC in the playoffs and lost. They went on, they actually went on to win the MLS Cup. But yeah, Atlanta United, um, I'm excited to see Joseph Martinez score some goals. Uh, can't wait, can't wait for, can't wait for the upcoming games. Uh, who are we playing next, actually? I'd like to know. Who are we playing? I know this video is probably really boring. We're playing Colorado. We're playing Colorado. Okay. Ooh, then we play the new Charlotte team. But let me give you some stats. Um, Sporting Kansas City outpossessed us 56 to 44. Yeah, they got 56%. Well, we had 44%. We had 12 shots, 6 on goal. They had 14 shots, 2 on goal. We committed six fouls. They committed 15 fouls. We got three yellow cards. They got two. Neither team's got red cards. Five times we got called for offsides. One time they got called for offside. Um, each team had four corner kicks. Atlanta United had no saves, while Sporting Kansas City had three. So uh, they didn't, uh, Brad Guzan really didn't have to do much. Uh, the ones who got red, uh, not red, yellow cards for Atlanta United were Miles Robinson, Andrew Gutman, and Osvaldo Alonso. And the ones who got yellow cards for Sporting Kansas City were Andro Fontas and Jose Mari. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the, uh, Dom Dwyer, who uh, scored his first MLS goal since, like, 2019, man. He hasn't scored a goal in a while. I remember Dom. I, I, I remember Dom Dwyer. I remember him on Orlando. He actually scored two goals against us uh, back, in, back in our inaugural season in 2017. He scored two goals against us. They were, uh, it was a game at, yeah, it was a game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Lane out of Orlando. That game ended in a tie, three to three. That was also the score of the uh, last game I saw in 2019. The last game I saw in 2019 was against the New York Red Bulls, and we had a tie, three to three. If you've seen that short of the Joseph Martinez uh, penalty uh, kick goal, that's the uh, that's the um, game I was at, and he scored a penalty kick. Uh, then he scored a goal to put us up at uh, three two, and then we. The defense fell asleep, and Bradley Wright Phillips scored a uh, late uh, equalizer, and that's how the game ended. Jeff Lorenowicz actually got a red card, but it was like after the game he got a yellow card, but he was suspended for the next game. So yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta United and the New York Red Bulls have a uh, rivalry, which is really cool. I like it. When do we get to play the Red Bulls? Let's see. I'll look ahead at our schedule. That's... Not a right thing to do, but you know what I mean. Let's go. Well, who, 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 who's? When do we get to play New York? Okay, not in March, not in April, probably in May. No, not in May. June. Yes, we play the New York Red Bulls on the 30th of June at Red Bull Arena, and we don't play them again. We play them twice every season, and then we play them at home 
on the 17th of August at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So there's the home game. So looking forward to the game against Colorado. Hopefully we can beat them. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can beat them. Then we play Charlotte, and then we play Montreal. So those are the only three games we have in um, March. The game, the months that we have the most games in are July and August. Each each of those months, we have six games. So not many to start the season. And then as we progress into the midpoint of the season, that's where the game uh, number, the number of games starts to increase. But you know what? We'll take it game by game. I right, let's get ready for Colorado. Great win today against. Uh, Sporting Kansas City, third time we've played them in our history, uh, and we're two and one against them in our history. Cause, well, let's think. Well, we lost to them in 2018, beat them in 2019, didn't play them in 2020, didn't play them last year, and then we play them this year. So that's three matchups, and they've won one, we've won two. So, yeah, good job, Atlanta United. Uh, that's gonna do it for the video for this video today. Um. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Go Atlanta United.